Hello guys, uh, Great Tutorials here with a new tutorial for you guys. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be a transition that I did in my MV3 mini edit uh, on my second channel. Uh, yeah, so a few of you have asked me to do this tutorial. So yeah, this is what we're going to make today. Yeah, exactly that effect right there. I think it's pretty nice. Yeah, so let's go into it. Just open After Effects. We do clips. Uh, they can overlap a little bit. This is better. So yeah. So um, first of all, just choose where you want the where where you want the transition to come in. So I'm just gonna here about there. Just place it on. Okay, and the first thing, uh, I have this uh, UAV hand that I'm going to mask out. Uh, you you may not have the UAV hand or whatever, uh, but you can use like a sniper. Um, you can mask the sniper or uh, a throwing knife would look cool um, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, but I'm just gonna mask this hand again. So uh, just take your mask tool and right click on the clip, time, freeze frame, and then you wanna yeah take the mask tool and just mask this out. And I'm not going to do this perfect. I'm just gonna do this really quick. So please do better than me, cause. Uh, this will probably suck so uh, okay that should suck really bad okay so to make it a little bit nicer you can click mm on your on the clip and mask feather and put it to 10 pixels and now if you click this uh, this thingy See that it's looking real uh, pretty nice now. So, um, what you want to do now is just click, uh, go to the first keyframe. Like no, go to the first. Uh, like you go to the first of the clip or whatever. And you just click and hold Shift to make it static, just so it goes right and stuff. And then you just drag it down, click P, and keyframe that, and then go about 20 frames forward. So just go one, two, 20 frames, and then just click, hold shift, drag it up, and that would be nice. So and then, um. Uh, select those keyframes in F9. Uh, yeah, and then what you want to do is double click that layer and click P and click the clock watch to uh, take off all the keyframes because you don't want any keyframes. And then you want to click MM or M, doesn't really matter, and mask one, put it to subtract. Okay, so we have this like strange effect like that. And what you want to do here is just go to fix and presets, uh, search in tran transition. Oh, yeah. Just go down transition, and you should see CC grid wipe, and drag that on. And what you want to do is go to completion. Make sure you're on the first keyframe though, and then go. Place this to a hundred, and then keyframe, and then go about thirty frames forward. So one, two, three, thirty frames, yeah, and then put it to zero. Uh, yeah, and then just click on the layer, click U, select keyframes F9. That will just make it smoother, and then you can click U on the second layer too and what you want to do is just uh, when everything stops like here for me I think it is 
Uh, yeah, something here around there. So I'm just gonna uh, control shift D to split the clip and delete. And then you do the same where this effect stops. Let's try this away for a sec. Uh, when that stays like that, right there. And then control shift D, delete. And then you just place this like uh, in the middle. So you got this clip. Uh, the thing is coming in. And like, uh, oh, this is hard to explain. Okay, like halfway of this clip, in the middle of this clip, you wanna place this clip. <laughs> it's much this clip. Uh, you wanna place that like in the middle of this clip. If you understand, then uh, yeah, it's pretty logic. So like that, and then oh yeah, maybe like. Yeah, and when all the fake stops, and then you just okay, guys. Sorry, th this is like the first time that I make this, but uh, yeah, it will be much better tutorials in the future. So, uh, let's place this somewhere. This is like the first first try that I do this tutorial. Uh, so about there, and then you got this effect right there. Like, uh, first clip comes, and then UAV hand comes in, and then the grid effect, and then blam, and then and it starts. So we can just run preview that. Yeah works pretty nice and sorry for the complicated uh, tutorial if you have any questions just leave it below um, yeah so bye guys